Okay, what's up? How's it going? This is Evil Stories with UMD. Welcome, welcome, villains of the internet. Uh, what is this show? I'll give a little introduction. I am a professional fucking yap, yap, yapper. And uh, I thought it'd be fun to document some stories of my life. Um, or talk about something maybe that I read today, earlier in the week. Uh, some of anything that is just some of the most filthiest, most horrendous and disgusting, uh, vitriol, evil, evil, putrid and stinky, smelly, even evil stories. Um, and we're gonna fucking, we're gonna talk about some shit today. Some literal shit. Um, I see y'all out here. I see y'all with this, uh, AI album cover bullshit going on in the industry. All right. I see y'all. Okay. Um, we're gonna explore some of the some of the controversial artists. <laughs> uh, I would put controversial in quotations. It's not really. I wouldn't say it's controversial to, you know, decide to use AI to create a cover for your, you know, song or album or whatnot. It's just lazy. And it's, and it's and it's just kind of sad more than anything but yeah that's what we're going to talk about today um what's I'll let me let me start with uh, what got me you know what what got me like wanting to talk about all this um it was an artist that I hold real dear and close to me shut the fuck up windows sorry about that Bitch ass windows. Anyway, I uh, yeah, I was listening to this artist. Goes by the name of Busta Rhymes, and Mister Rhymes uh, has committed the highest uh, crime, and that is using AI to make um, whatever this is. So I'm gonna move my little gameplay on the screen. And we're going to take a look at this from Busta Rhymes' latest Do the Bus a Bus Part 2. Ah, just this is hard to look at. Like, the shadows are fucking me up. Um, this guy standing here is hilarious. Just fucking hilarious. Um, we can kind of zoom in here. So as you can see, this lady right here, just no shadow whatsoever. Um, I don't know why they're like tippy toe. That feels a little weird. Yes, we're gonna. This is pretty much the whole episode is just us uh, hyper analyzing photos that have been AI'd. Um, I don't know what's going on with like her face I feel like it the lighting is wrong to everything else it's his hand here this is that's fucking me up this like outline the overshadowing it goes to like a point it's not it's as you can see like you know it's not like the worst it's still doing the thing it's making what it's asking for. His fingers look a little silly here. I don't know. They don't look too good. This guy, this guy, this right here actually kind of looks like Busta Rhymes if he wore sunglasses and and had that haircut. Almost kind of looks like him. Um. Do the bus a bus part two. Yeah, I don't know. I was looking, I was staring at this for like an hour straight and I was just like, something's fucked up here. Something's real fucked up here. Um, what 
but this, but then so yeah, this started um, what I wanted to talk about today, um, and so what also has been going on is we have Tears for Fears. Uh, Tears for Fears is I don't fucking know some kind of rock folk band. I would assume I don't know. I didn't look into it, but they decided to also use AI, um, and they made this. We can kind of see if I can do. Nope. Okay. Well, that didn't do what I wanted to do, but I guess we'll do this. Um. So yeah, this is all apparently AI. Um. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of freaky that there's not a camera in the reflection of the helmet. I will say. This is where the AI starts to kind of, these plants going into these circles, like what the fuck is going on? And this camera nipple, I don't know why it's like so saggy. <laughs> like, it's, yeah, there's like some things going on. <laughs> Uh, I got this article here. Tears of Fears has addressed why they chose to use AI to design their new album cover. The English pop band. Oh, oh okay. There we go. Uh, their new record, I Don't Care, earlier this month by sharing the cover art, which features an astronaut in a field of sunflowers. However, fans weren't too pleased about the apparent use of artificial intelligence tools uh, with Instagram with an, just a random Instagram user describing it as embarrassing. Oh, it's so embarrassing. Using AI is such a joke. That's true. Another added uh, with a third writing, you'd think as artists you wouldn't want your work to be stolen, but that's what Gen AI does. Disappointing to see this. Um, what else we got here? And, uh, yeah, they kind of like show off the original photo, which is like, okay. Uh, fans appear to remain unconvinced in the comments. Someone writing, how hard is it to hire an artist to make something for your album? Disappointing to see you guys promoting this AI nonsense. And that's just like, so true. Or just like make something on your fucking own. You know? Just literally put, bust out the old crayons and, and, and Sharpies and washable markers. Um... And start doodling on the wall. Buy a wall. And just start drawing on it. And then you, you don't need... It doesn't need to be anything... A whole ass astronaut out in the field. Like, bruh. Um, that... Another quote here says... That's an AI cover for something that could have been easily shot and edited. And that's also true too, I guess. You know? That is, like, yeah. There's so many points. There's just so many points to not use AI. Like, there's so many, like, counters to it. It's like, just don't, you don't need to do it. You really don't. Um, so here we have um, another band that is under hot water this year. This looks like it was back in February. Um, the band... Pestilence defends their AI album cover. Uh, Pestilence announced, announced their career retrospective album, Levels of Perception. Yesterday, fans noticed something a little wrong with the artwork. Namely, that it's AI generated. Uh, frankly, I was going to let it go and not write about... Okay, I don't care about what the fucking article guy is. I don't care about your... I don't care what you got going on in your life. I'm just interested in the story. Uh, let's see here. Comparisons are dumb. Recording on tape, recording digitally requires different skill sets. That I, okay, don't care, don't care. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, Pestilence responded to the criticism. Uh, they posted a picture of... Uh, so here, let me show the album. That's not it, but that's some other AI bullshit. Um, fudge it up here. Rut row raggy. Um, do I have it? Uh, let's see here if I can open this image up. 
do this. Oh my gosh, this is really bad. All right, all right. I think I got it. Oh, this is the album. You probably already seen it, but uh, they po they posted they posted this with another album of theirs, like a, like an older album, I guess, where they actually got somebody to do the artwork. Um, and their response was, "How is the second cover way better than the first one? Please explain." The AI is everywhere. Are we so caught up in the past that we do not embrace technology? Is recording with tape better than digital DAWs or DAWs? Is taking a Polaroid picture better than the newest tech phone? It's still about the music and lyrics, and that's, in all caps, REAL. Ooh. <laughs> that's some real, like, boomer ass logic, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'm sorry. Um... I don't know. Do you ever contemplate the ethics of, you know, some of the shit that you use? Like, just because something is, I don't know, in your viewpoint, like, harmless? It's, you know, it's actually not. <laughs> like, um... First of all, that the comparison of uh, is taking a Polaroid picture better than the newest tech phone? No one's making that argument. Like, there's different reasons why you would use a new phone or an old camera, you know? There's different reasons for it. It's not... No one's like... This is the only instance, <laughs> literally, where that question is being brought up. Uh... And then secondly, AI is like, for the most part, art that is taken from other artists online. So for all we know, this like album that they used and sold and, you know, made money off of uh, is in a sense theft, you know, to who knows how many artists, you know, uh, it's so just gross it's so gross i'm gonna actually take this off the screen because it's pretty gross um but i have i have a few more we have a few more so there's apparently um a new apparently a bunch of new metal bands are fucking uh making a bunch of of their own ai album covers um, I found this website, rateyourmusic.com, and there's like a article, or somebody made some kind of list, basically. It's seven pages, and I don't care to go through seven pages of AI pictures or whatnot, but I got a, I got a handful here, as you can see in these tabs. Uh, you saw one earlier. Um, but yeah, it's... A lot of these are like, you know like i mean they're all bad <laughs> they're all pretty bad but i handpicked like the real bad bad ones you know the ones where it's just like why did why did the, how did this get green lit you know um so let's see here we have this one cute little piggy first let me give a quick disclaimer also as i'm going through this i'm not shitting on the artist or the band maybe their music is good i have no idea i'm just judging them off solely off of of their album cover choice uh which already this is just an abomination what the fuck is even going on here a tv bank case it's got like a handle that's on a kind of it looks like it's supposed to be a pig there's like a mouth here i don't why does each foot have like 20 toes it's freakish and then th there's this kid here who looks like she has like backwards fucking kneecaps <laughs> she looks like she's about to like bend like crouch down and then you just see both her legs just snap backwards like some predator alien shit like, what is this? This is art? This looks dumb. 
I don't, I just, uh, I don't know. I can't greenlit this. I wouldn't put this on anything that I make, you know? <laughs> this is, it's like, what is, what is even supposed to be in here? These kind of look like houses. This looks like an old footage of like a village, maybe. And it's like, what's the significance of this to the whole thing? It's like, where is this area to? What, what is the environment here? It's just this, it's like sad and disturbing. But not in like a, a way that you look at it, it makes you think. It makes you just like hate that you're looking at it. <laughs> Ugh. All right, we got another one here. Yeah, this was just like, what, what are we doing? This looks like it's supposed to be a skeleton, I guess. There's like kind like kind of something here. Maybe this is the jaw and then this hand. I don't know if it's supposed to be like this is a figure two holding it or if it's like uh I don't know. There's nothing going on here, so it's like I don't even know what the look at the five stages of grief i assume that's the name of the song right um it's just like this looks like a hand right here you see this this looks like a whole ass hand uh yeah no i'm good uh yeah that's pretty bad this one. <laughs> this one I saw and I was like, ah, oh, what the f It was like, I see what they were going for. It's like, it's like supposed to be like almost like a VHS filter vapor wave esque. If I had to assume, this almost kind of looks maybe like a, a fast food place, you know? I don't fucking, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Um, I would assume this is supposed to be taking place in fucking California. You know, you got this, what kind of looks like an ocean, got some trees going on, almost like a beach cliff. And then this section, I just don't even fucking know what I'm looking at. It's just like, this isn't, this is like a picture that like they show to, to illustrate what stroke victims, uh, see when they're going to when they're stroking out, like, I just can't even articulate how just, like, ugly and just gross this looks, like, the, the worst rendition, I was actually, uh, you know what I saw, I saw a post on, like, Reddit, um, where somebody, like, googled, they googled, like, a animal, I don't know, it was, like, peacock, they just, like, googled an animal, some fucking animal, and then they uh, took a screen grab of the results and then, like, put a red line through every result that was an AI image. And it was, like, more than half the page. And that's, like, something that's, like, that really needs to be, like, addressed. Or Google needs, like, I don't know what the fuck they're going through right now. Uh, I've heard not great things about Google, and I'm... I think I might actually, I might do a whole episode talking about Google. That could be fun. Google's really sussy. Um, they got some, like, lawsuits, if I, if I, if I remember correctly, going on currently. Um, Google's really creepy. I was listening to, like, Noel Miller's, uh, one of his company lot podcasts, and it's, like, him just yapping, just like this. It's just him yapping, and he was just going off about Google and how fucking creepy and, like, they're, you know, they have full, like, com complete surveillance with, like, Google Maps and Google Earth of, like, almost every, except, like, just a lot, large accessible areas of the entire planet. <laughs> just anywhere they can get a little, like, like, a fucking van with a camera, with a 360 camera. They're trying to get it everywhere. And you know those motherfuckers are, like, giving that shit to the government. Like, ah, it's fucked up. It's fucked up, bro. Um, yeah, Google, 
is creepy. Um, was there anything else I was going to... Yeah, they, they need to fix their search results with the pictures. Like, it's like... That's so fucked... Like, I, if I need a photo for something... God, like... Having to sift through, like, just shitty AI pictures to get what I need. It's like... Fuck me, dude. It's getting bad. Another thing. AI, uh, Google's whole AI overview. I don't even look at that. I don't even look at that shit. I think anyone who you actually genuinely looks at that and, like, takes it for face value, pure information. Like, people are literally, like, learning off of that. You know? And it's just like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Ah, it's too much. It's it's even in my damn keyboard on my fucking phone. Like, where the emoji button used to be. I have an Android. And where the emoji button used to be is now an AI button for, I don't fucking know, generative text or some shit. So, that, this is also the, like scary thing about AI that I, I've been kind of contemplating myself is like people are just like having not conversations with each other you know because you can just generate it hey how you doing oh my day was like this and that and this and it's like you know people are genuinely like using AI to make quick response quick text response to like their mother and <laughs> it's shit like that when, like, I hear, like, tech bros gassing up AI because, like, they think it's going to be a whole big fucking thing that's going to, I don't fucking know, whatever they fucking think. Save the world, create new jobs, do whatever the fuck they think. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's always something stupid. And it's like... No, dude. <laughs> now you're just, like, not talking to your, like, close friends and family. Because you're just too fucking lazy to, te like, text up somebody. Like, that's where we're at. Uh, okay, we've been on this image for too long. We gotta go to the next one. I just had to, I just had to yap about that. I'm very, I'm very Luddite when it comes to AI. <laughs> it's, I'm getting there. I'm, I'm starting to see, uh, I'm getting very Luddite about it. We're gonna go to the next one. Yes! My man, my homie. Jesse. Jesse, I'm fucking AI. Jesse, I'm artificially generated. Jesse, we need to, we need to cook AI meth. Yo, Mr. White. You're not... <laughs> Fuck, this is so bad. It's the white. <laughs> Spike Jesse Pigman impression. It's the white. We need to break. <laughs> okay, oh, this is dumb. I can't even think of anything. <laughs> I just like doing that. I just like ha making them talk. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Fucking AI uh, Walter White. I kind of forgot about this. I think I have another one. Yeah, it says Walter here. I have another one. Damn. Let me look at that. Generated ass noggin, brother. Woo! Sheesh! Big sheesh right here. God damn. Shit is clean. Broke out the Anthony Fantano fade. Oh, God, look at his ugly-ass face. You can tell this is totally generated. From a f if you, It's like, from afar, and you squint, you're like, oh, okay, yeah, it's, uh... Yeah, it's, 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 it's fucking Brian Cranston in Breaking Bad, you know? I don't really remember this neighborhood that he's standing in. His posture's a little awkward. I don't remember this scene. What show, what, what episode is this? And then you, like, open your eyes and you zoom in a little bit and you're like, oh, it's all, like, that's not a house. Why is the pole slanted? Why does it look so horrible? 
Yes, let's go. Oh my god, why is his face breaking? <laughs> Walter Concrete White. Dude, that's concrete. Even his like <laughs> even like under his eyes. He's got like two glasses going on too almost. I can't tell if like this is the frame or if this is the frame. This maybe is the frame. Look at his pointed ass little ears. His ears they st it stopped generating here and then it bled into the house. <laughs> his ear just morphed into the house there. <laughs> oh my god. The baldness is nice, I will say. Oh my gosh. Jesse, Jesse. I'm made of concrete, baby. <laughs> um, let's see here. What else we got? Oh yeah, this one was pretty bad. Um fucking Let's see here. What what um what caught my eye right away was over here. These look like they're supposed to be like sheep. And I love how they just morph into the fucking skulls. That just looks real, real bad. This goofy ass shit. <laughs> These skulls look so dumb. This is like, it's like a, just a giant hole in this head. <laughs> no thoughts, just hole. <laughs> His hands all fucked up here. Uh, I can't say this is cool. I can't say it's like it looks cool. Look at this bird. This bird looks fucked up. What is this like chair part? These corners even supposed to be? This is just like a sur. It's just like bullshit. It doesn't even actually look like anything. Uh, why are the trees so tiny? I have so many questions. Ugh, oh, it's so gross. Disgusting. I hate it. Oh my god. What is going on? Yo. Oh my god. When you have a stroke in Doom Eternal? Brother, what is this? All right, sorry, David Reese, who's totally stealing Eminem's uh, backwards E swag. I see you, bro. You can't just take that, okay? Look at this fucking demon. What is going on? It's like an incomplete demon. Why is his hand like that? Is that a bird? Why has he got this, like, green snot? Did someone sneeze on him? Look at this, like, green dripping off of his face. This thing looks fucking terrifying. Like, terrifyingly ugly. The armor is, like, two completely different sets. The muscles look unnatural. What are these, like, bubble muscles here? He's got a six-pack under his armpit, dude. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is a whole six-pack right here. He has two six packs. I don't know what this is supposed to. Be. Is this supposed to be his chest? This demon got titties. I love this. The hand not holding the pole, and then it's like it's stabbing into his like fucking lower stomach, and then this one he's pulling. This one's like hovering underneath his balls. Like, this stick is literally just like, why are the sticks going into him? That's I just don't get that. Wouldn't it make sense for them to go behind him? You know? Baptized by fire. It, from a distance, these almost look like Christmas ornaments on the horns. <laughs> I wonder why he put this, like, his, like, artist name over this part. I wonder what's, like, behind it. Because that's not generated. That's that's overlay. That and this text down here, that's overlay, you know? Um, God damn, this is literally... Yeah, this is this is horrible. In hell, it's, it's, it's not actually hell. It's you walking through your brain. Uh, 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 all of hell is just AI generated. Like, just how it looks. 
and you never act, and you just keep walking and you never feel like you're getting anywhere and your feet hurt uh and then you just that's 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 your life in hell that's the, exactly how i feel when i look at this um okay okay this is intense Oh my god. Oh shit, excuse me. Justice flies. <laughs> I guess, like, I guess you could have flies in the album cover for the song Justice Flies. Like, <laughs> let's see, I'm, I'm go, I go right for the hands every time. Look at this fucking hand. What is this? Just that bro's got four fingers. <laughs> Oh my god. There's so many flies. What is this supposed to be? This is like... It's, it's trying to be a demon thing. So many flies. I don't... Is this supposed to be like Greek mythology too? What is this circle in the background? It looks significant. I can't tell. So much going on here. The yellow to blue to then the red and then this. Like, there's just this is this hurts to look at. If I saw this on like a like a vinyl, like an LP, I'd be like, uh, what's go this is too much. This is so too much for. I don't know. I would assume a song or maybe an album. Ugh. We're moving on. Oh God. Uh, I hate this so much. I hate this so much. It's like trying to be like, if almost like unimaginably, unimaginable, unimaginable and ethereal. But like these colors are just, uh, it's like it's like I'm tripping. It's like I'm tripping acid in uh, 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 Willy Wonka's candy factory, chocolate factory. Um, Jesus Christ! But like, it's like trying to have. It's like this is like a plane, and then there's a horizon. But then like there's also there's like also a horizon. Like there's like this is what's fucking me up. Is this dot? This looks like another sun. So it's like, ah, and it's like, what's this? Is this a planet, a black hole, a fucking bubble? What is that supposed to be? It just kind of looks like it gave up halfway through generating something that could have been like actually cool. Um, but it ended up just looking like this, just a mesh of fucking colors and like kind of sunsets. This is like a sunset, but it also almost looks like a fucking, like, nuke. Like a mush, like, see the kind of, like, mushroom here? And it's like, this almost just looks like an explosion. Ugh. This is like, it's just like a jelly mountain. It's like pitching a tent. It's like, what the fuck is this? What am I looking at, brother? What am I looking at? This is the one we saw earlier. Oh, my God. I do, okay, so the band, I would assume, is Offended, which, <laughs> great name, real, real, real sick name, dude, uh, The Hell Zone, <laughs> it's like, okay, but like, what is that, what is this, this is The Hell Zone, are these people walking, are they even people, are they dying, what is this, this red in the back here, is this, fire in the air is it a volcano is this water are these pathways see these aren't the questions your art should make me ask i should be able to get at least something out of it i don't really get anything here this looks like something like well therapist will hold up a picture and be like what do you see when you see this image and you're like i don't know it looks fucking horrible i don't want to look at it um, yep, fun stuff, good stuff, um, alright, we are more than halfway through, and I, th yeah, that's pretty much all the AI album art that I wanted to shit on, 
guess I can rant a little bit uh, about this. We're gonna. So I am. I am starting a little bit, a little bit of a sobriety uh, kick. Uh, I've decided to stop drinking alcohol. Um, because apparently, if I take my new medication and drink, it's not good for any part of me on the inside. I'm pretty sure all of my organs and my, um, lower, uh, all my, just all my organs fall out, basically. And all my lower organs just fall out. They just fall into the floor, and then they grow like little, like little nasty spider legs, and then they start like crawling around everywhere. Like a thousand of them. Like when you step, when like when you step on like a, on a mama spider, carrying a bunch of babies. Ever do that? No, I've never done that. Um. Yeah, so I'm I'm not drinking anymore, and part of me is like, damn, drinking was pretty fun. Um, but there's also another part of me that's like, I think I can, I think it'd be, I think it'd be also kind of cool not to drink anymore, you know? Yeah, so. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Um, it's going to suck in social settings because I do like having a good brewski with a homie, but um, maybe I'll just start talking about, like, I don't know, capitalism or something boring instead. Just start boring my friends. Just start talking about nonsense to them. Um... <laughs> like I don't already. <laughs> uh, I'm always talking about some dumb, stupid bullshit. Um, but that's just, pfft. you know what? Pfft. That's what I say. I just go. Pfft. If anybody asks, tell them I said. Pfft. You know. If anyone's been asking about me. Tell him I said, Psh. but yeah, but yeah, okay, as he says, trying to do a podcast and he's just thinking and not speaking, sorry, all right, so yeah, I don't drink anymore, drinking is f- cringe, that's the new, uh, I'm gonna get a, make a shirt and wear it, it says drinking is cringe, um, but we're also... Uh, I got a new segment. All right, all right. T- uh, no more talk about sobriety. That's boring. Boo! You're not fun anymore. That's okay. My kidneys don't want to be f- having fun anymore. <laughs> um, new segment. New segment alert. New segment alert. Um, I found out that Wikipedia has a random article tab. And that's fun. So, uh, this new segment is called, um, random knowledge. I don't know. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to go. My, my, my thing is we're going to go through wiki articles until we find something either evil or controversial, I guess, you know, (laughs) I was doing this, uh, the other night with, uh, with my homie Sean and it was, it was pretty fun. So. Um, let's see here. Um, hmm, I wonder if I should put it up on, uh, why why not put it up on here? Some of these are not going to be bangers. Some of these are just going to be boring and just not anything. This is my first random article. Kunawara wine region. Let's go out of limestone coast of South Australia. Australia is kind of controversial. Too many, too many fucking Vegemite eating motherfuckers out there. Uh, <laughs> I don't fucking. <laughs> All right, I don't care. 
What do we got here? Ministry of Defense, Nigeria. Uh, surely, okay, surely there's something pretty, pretty controversial. Let's see here. Military, government, democracy, and reform responsibilities. Military organization, civ civilian organization. Um... Uh, Eh, okay, whatever. I don't care about Nigeria. Paul Kretschmer. Let's learn about Paul. German linguist who studied early history and interrelations of the Indo-European languages and showed how they were influenced by non-Indo-European languages such as Estrucan. Or Estrucan. He, he was born in Berlin. Oh, that's it. Uh, Pre-Greek elements in ancient Greek was 1896. Introduction to the history of Greek language. Comparing Greek places with their foreign counterparts in ancient uh, Anatolia. He concluded that a non-Greek Mediterranean culture had preceded... Or... Fuck. Fuck. Why can't I say this word? Pre not preceded. It's like pre-set, pre, before the Greeks there were there, leaving extensive linguist traces and discoveries to the arch archaeologists of Sir Ar Arthur Evans. Oh, who's that? Oh, look at that gentleman. British guy, pioneer the study of Aegean civilization in the Bronze Age. My man is so old, he's in the Bronze Age. He's... Fucking the Bronze Age, dude. My man is... What was he made of? Pennies? Okay. It's fucking dumb. Um, okay, cool. Park Kretschmer. Cool. Fucking guy. Fucking German guy. This is... This is... This might... I might not do this segment again. I don't know. <laughs> I thought it'd be maybe a little more fun. Let's hit a couple. Let's just let's just hit a couple until we hit something. Site W. Private company created in 2007. Two computer scientists approached several local businesses, designed their websites, demanded that the region inspire them to form a company, design a platform, offers websites that are faster, easier, accessible to individuals. Functionality. Nothing controversial. Boring. Don't care. Expo 2025. Upcoming World Expo organized by sanction sanctioned by the Bureau Invested in or Invested. Sorry, Bureau in International Desk Expositions held at Osaka, Japan. Take place six months during 2025. Okay. What is this for? It's traditional five-year scheduling cycle. It's delayed. Okay. Registration dossier for Japan Expo containing detailed plan with proposed operational dates and legacy plans have been submitted. Okay. What is it, though? Just an expo? But an expo for what? For voting? A secret ballot took place. Themes, theme for the expo, designing future society for our lives. What the fuck? All right, I'm out. I will not be attending uh, Expo 2025. Sorry. Heaven Will Be Mine. Sci-fi romance a visual novel by American studio Pillow Fight Games and Worst Girl Games for Windows. That's cool. Let's do another one. Or wait, there's a, there's a, there's a, here. I have a. There we go. I can just do this. There's a there's a little key. You can key it in. Look at that. Hey, look at that guy. Hey, Rodrigo Del Del Delora Delorido. What up? Argentine politician and lawyer. Been a national deputy since 2021. That's sick, dude. I'm so happy for you. All right. What else we got? Boring. Don't care. Sharon. Don't care. Paul. Don't care. 
don't care. Um, South Texas Detention Facility. Okay. Okay. This could be something. What do we got here? Wait, that's it? I don't have anything? Contracts between ICE and five detention facilities. Daily population. Facility was regularly exceeded. Okay. Okay, that was boring. Legion Flynn was an American architect practiced in North Carolina. Coastal resident projects in southeastern North Carolina, primar primarily in the Wilmington area. That's amazing. Iraq Metal, Stormbro, Lycla, 1979 in France. Sex, love, and money? That's all I get, baby. Uh, single by rapper Most Deaf. Let's fucking go. That's sick. I love that. I love Most Deaf. Um, the video was directed by Paul Hunter, nominated for a Grammy, reached the Billboard charts. That's sick. Of course it did. It's fucking... It's goddamn Most Deaf. I'm most definitely getting sex, money, and... Uh, pussy or whatever the fuck it said Sean Watson a footballer an Australian footballer lane splitting uh oh lane splitting is riding a bicycle yeah I know what it is in a developing world safety research hmm, hmm. debate over safety proponents state that the practice reveals congestion by removing commuters from cars and gets them to use the unused roadway space between the cars and the lane splitting also improves fuel efficiency for motorcyclists comf uh, comfort in extreme weather okay okay is it really that fuel efficient <laughs> In the U.S., transportation engineers have suggested that motorcyclists are too few and will remain too few to justify any special accommodation or legislative considerations such as lane splitting. Unless it becomes likely that a very large number of Americans will switch to motorcycles, they will offer no measurable congestion relief. Potentially, lane splitting can lead to road rage. Part of drivers who feel frustrated that motorcyclists are able to filter through the traffic jam. However, the hurt... I would just be scared. You know, I would just be scared someone's just going to like suddenly just, you know, move just a little, just a little bit to the left or right. And then boom, and then you're, and then you fall and then there's 10 cars behind you just running your fucking legs over <laughs> like deliberate hostile action by a motorist against a motorcycle rider is a rare accident cause uh, uh yeah i mean i believe that i imagine it's not happening all the time but it's i don't know as a as as the motorcyclist that would that, that would be scary like i get it it's filtering it's like creating less congestion or whatnot but like i don't know lane splitting is not recommended for beginning motorcyclists riders who do not practice it in their Home or sh home area are strongly cautioned. It can be risky if they attempt it while traveling to a jurisdiction where is it allowed. Damn. All right, moving on. Nuclear power in Malaysia. Okay. Let's learn about that. Um. Okay, we just have this. However, due to prior concern, the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear disaster in 2011. I want to learn about that, actually. Fukushima nuclear accident um, at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant in Akuma, Fukushima, Japan. In 2011, proximate cause the accident. Um, the proximate cause was an earthquake and tsunami. Resulted in electrical grid failure and damaged nearly all of the power plant's backup energy sources Damn. Subsequent inability to su sufficiently cool reactors after shutdown comprised contaminant and resulted in the release of radioactive contaminants into the surrounding environment. Let's fucking go, dude. The accident was rated 7 maximum severity uh, by the INES. What is that? 
International Nuclear Radio Radio ah, Radiological Event Scale. Oh, I thought it was the um, International Nintendo Entertainment System. <laughs> Uh, okay, and NISA, 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 Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency, following a report by the Japanese Nintendo uh, Nintendo Entertainment System, no, Japan Nuclear Energy Safety Organization, it is regarded as the worst nuclear incident since Chernobyl disaster, (laughs) damn, uh, rate was also rated a seven. So it was a second. Tr- we had a second Chernobyl in 2011, and just no one talked about it. That's crazy. Uh, no advi- no adverse health effects among non-worker f- f- uh, Fukushima residents have been documented that are directly attributed to radiate. Well, okay, yeah, not immediately. <laughs> That shit's in the environment, though, and we take from the environment and we put it in fucking food and and shit. Like, it'll eventually get to us. It just we just haven't seen it yet. God damn. Uh, and that's just yeah. Non, there's hasn't been anything documented, but that doesn't mean any nobody was affected. Uh, insurance compensation was paid for one death from lung cancer, but this does not prove a casual relationship between radiation and the cancer. Six other persons have been reported having developed cancer or leukemia. Two workers were hospitalized because of radiation burns. Yeah, here we go. Several other people sustained physical injuries uh, as a consequence of the accident. Circumcisions. What? No. Circum- criticisms. What the fuck? I didn't even. Why do I? What the fuck? That word fucked me up. I had to do a quadruple take on it. Sir, fuck, I'm still saying it. Criticisms, fuck, have been made about public perception of radiological hazards resulting from accidents and implement, implementation of evacuation similar to Chernobyl as they were accused of causing more harm than they prevented. Following the accident, at least 164,000 residents of the surrounding air- area were permanently or temporarily dis- temporarily displaced fuck damn dude that's fucking wild took out all their power power station was also equipped with backup dc batteries kept charged by ac at all time ac power at all times designed to be able to power the station for approximately eight hours um and the batteries were located Fucking, I just gave up reading. Jesus Christ. The batteries are located in the turbine building where they were raised above the ground level. Huh. But it got fucked up because of the earthquake? Interesting. The height of the tsunami that struck the station approximately 50 minutes after the earthquake? Damn. The power. So this is the building. B is the peak height of the tsunami. Damn. Okay. There's at least, yeah, that's at least half the damn building. Um, fuck. All right. Um, that was pretty good. Learned that there was a second Chernobyl. It's pretty cool. Um, let's see here. Can we get one more on the way out? Only got five more minutes. Let's just hit a random. Oh, I can do this. Boom, 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 boom. Let's just get a real random one. Oh my gosh! Come on, give me something cool. Where have all the flowers gone? I don't give a fuck. List of suspensions in the NFL. Let's go. 1997, the wake of O.J. Simpson's murder trial league under the commissioner Paul Tagliabue adopted a violent crime policy which gave the league broad powers to fine and suspect suspend players for violent crimes, but only after the conviction. Um, let's see here. The earliest, 1925, uh, for Art Fultz. 
The reason involvement in the 1925 Chicago Cardinals Milwaukee Badgers scandal the f okay scandal was a scandal centered on the 1925 game between Cardinals and Badgers of the National Football League scandal involved the Chicago player hiring a group of high school football players to play for the what <laughs> I'd imagine play for a team it kind of cuts off okay um suspension life reinstated in 20 in 1926 the immediate next year what it was just a year and he was back in god damn um okay 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 who else we got jack matherson okay 1947 jack matherson conducted detrimental to the league conduct detrimental to the league i don't know what that means apparently he was for the on the chicago bears okay all right fuck that guy how dare you conduct detrimental to the team i don't know what that means um arch sh fuck how do you say this Schlich schleicher i hate that name schleicher <laughs> Betting on the NFL games and other sporting events. I, I, uh, I think I'm just going to read this. I'm just going to read these. On sports, my like contact. I don't give a fuck. Body slamming Chicago Bears quarterback Jim McMahon, Charles Martin in 1986. Why would you do that? What did Jim ever do to you, buddy? Huh? What did Jim ever do to you? Violation of the league's personal conduct policy stemming from an argument during a game with the Falcons head coach. Boring. Violation of team's rules stemming from his failure to report for training camp. Really? Who gives a fuck? Where's all the good shit? Attacking a stripper and threatening the security guard's life. Here we go. Adam Jones in 2007. Okay, this guy is sick. Uh, Adam Bernard Jones. American football professional football player. Quarterback. Specialist, what team was he on? On the Tennessee Titans. Damn. Not very Tennessee Titan of you. What the fuck? I know this guy. I know someone named this. That's crazy. That's crazy. Jared Allen. Violation. Okay, I was just going to read this. Misdemeanor assault charges. Violation of team rules. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Accidental shooting with a firearm. Bruh. Aforementioned accidental shooting. Damn, there's a lot of stuff on here. Two arrests during the 2012 offseason. Got room. <laughs> Removing and swinging Miami Dolphin guards Richie Incognito's helmet. Okay. Stomping on the leg of a Chicago Bears defensive tackle guy from the Detroit Lions. God damn. This is a long ass list. Holy shit. It just keeps going. Oh my god. I wish it was ordered. I wish it was ordered like. 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 Like, least offense to most bizarre offense. <laughs> Alright. I think that's enough. Oh, God, I'm already tired. It's 8 o'clock, and I'm fucking already dozing the fuck off. I'll end it there. Thanks for listening. If you did, be sure to leave a like, leave a comment. Um, yeah, I'm going to do the wiki thing again. Probably. That's just kind of fun. Just randomly learning shit. It's a good time. Um, be sure to um, take your meds and hug your mother. Um, fucking bye.